What's up, everybody? Charlie Marlowe here with some interesting breaking news, courtesy of my former employer, Fox 2 KTVI, and my great friend and mentor, sports director, Martin Kilcoin at Fox 2. He did a story last night on his TKO, the Kilcoin Opinion. Then it was reposted on social media. I saw it on Twitter today. Check out this headline, TKO, the return of Yachty. Talking about a potential return for Yadier Molina to the Cardinals as a coach. So I'll read from the text portion first. It says, Fox 2 Sports Director Martin Kilcoin says bringing back Yadier Molina might happen. And it makes sense. The two sides have talked about the idea of him joining the coaching staff, but it's not clear how far those talks have progressed. And again, watch this video and follow Fox 2 KTVI on uh, social media and all that. And then in the video, Martin says that uh, he doesn't think there's an offer that has been made yet by the Cardinals, and he's not sure if Yachty would accept. So this is what Martin is reporting. He's reporting, they have talked, there's mutual interest, doesn't think there's an offer, doesn't know if Yachty would accept. But Martin was also asked, in what capacity would Yachty be on the staff? And he said, most likely bench coach. Obviously right now, you have Joe McEwing as the bench coach for the Cardinals. He came in last minute because Matt Holliday was supposed to be the bench coach. He was hired last offseason, then decided he didn't want the job. He wanted to spend more time with family. He's got all his kids who are, um, well, Jackson is, is the number one prospect in baseball, and Ethan is another great young high school baseball player, and he has kids. And it, it seemed like Matt Holliday just wanted to spend more time with family. He said that before maybe taking a coaching gig down the road if he decides to do that. But uh, what do you guys think? Yadier Molina potentially coming back to the Cardinals after just one year off, of course, from retiring as a player last year, and then coming back potentially as a bench coach for the Cardinals. You know this would get uh, Cardinals fans super, super excited. And it does make sense. Look, Things really fell apart in 2023. I'm not saying that's all because of Yadier Molina. But look, we've said for years that Yadier Molina had those intangibles. You know, not just all of the, the gold gloves and all that and all of the stats and throwing runners out, but just being a leader, being a leader of the pitching staff, being somebody who's really good at calling games. We've all seen the stats. I, th I think... I think the stat is something like in Yadier Molina's tenure with the Cardinals, the, the team pitching ERA was about a half run lower than when other guys were catching. I, I believe that's the stat uh, if somebody wants to, to double check that. But I remember citing this many times over the years on radio and TV and all that. Um, and look, Wilson Contreras, if Wilson Contreras is going to be your catcher, wouldn't it help to have one of the greatest catchers, one of the greatest leaders, one of the greatest defensive catchers of all time to help mentor him there and also to help mentor Ali Marmol and be a conduit to the catchers and also the pitching staff and, and help out with, with things of that nature. This, this seems like a home run to me. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, we know that Yachty has been the manager on Team Puerto Rico in the World Baseball Classic, and he's been an international manager um and he's managed down there in, in in the puerto rico with the puerto rican team but also winter ball and uh, we know he owns that uh that basketball team but yadier molina back on the st louis cardinals sure just feels right especially after what happened in uh in 2023 so who knows we don't know if it's going to happen but martin kilcoin with a nice scoop here saying it has been discussed by both parties and that there's mutual interest Again, doesn't know if there was an offer or if Yachty would accept. I got to think, though, if there's an offer that Yachty's going to accept. How about this, though, for, for a wrinkle? Let, let's just assume this happens. And, and we don't know, but let's just kind of move this story forward. We know Yachty wants to be a big league manager. How do you feel about one of the most popular Cardinals players of all time being the bench coach to Ali Marmol in a prove it season for Ali, the last year of his contract, where look, I think it's safe to say if the Cardinals aren't aren't very good at the at the All-Star break, 
would it surprise you if, if Ali Marmol was let go? And, and look, if the Cardinals start the year well, and even if they're trending towards 500 and a team that can potentially add at the deadline again, I, I don't think Ali Marmol is going to lose his job. But if things went really bad early next year, you know, that's not crazy when you're thinking this is Ali Marmol's final year of his contract. So in saying all that, you wonder what's the dynamic when you put one of the most popular Cardinal players of all time in that right-hand man spot as the bench coach. And then you're going to have, if there's, if there's any bit of failure whatsoever for the 2024 Cardinals, you're going to have everybody clamoring for, I'm talking about the fans, for Yadier Molina to replace Ali Marmol. And it's kind of like that whole backup quarterback situation. So I love the idea of this, but is that what Ali wants? I know, I know Ali, look, great friends with Yachty and respects the hell out of Yachty and knows how important he is to the franchise. But if you're the manager of the St. Louis Cardinals, do you want Yachty or Molina as your bench coach, knowing that the entire fan base would be clamoring for Yachty to take your job, basically, the first time there's, there's any sign of any type of failure or disappointment early in the season in 2024 because you know that's going to happen you know that would happen all it would take is that team starting the year two and eight and you're going to start to to hear the clamoring for Yadier Molina to replace Ali Marmol as the manager so very interesting stuff good job Martin Kilcoin, my good buddy with this scoop on his TKO suggesting maybe Yadier Molina will return as a coach and the the, uh, the facts that he's reporting right now, just one more time for you. He said they have spoken. There is mutual interest. Martin reporting doesn't think there is an offer yet. Not clear if Yachty would accept. And then Martin also suggesting that bench coach is the most likely destination if this actually comes true, comes to fruition for the Cardinals and Yachty or Molina. I have a feeling you guys are going to be very, very excited about this scoop. I also wonder, and you know what? I saw this. I saw this on Twitter, and I hadn't even texted Martin yet, which I will. Um, and again, all the credit to him. Make sure you follow Martin. Make sure you follow Fox Two KTVI. I'm just thinking, like, this is one of those stories that, if you're the Cardinals, do you really want this story to get out if it doesn't happen? Think about that. Yachty is so popular. Just me talking about this and Martin reporting this and everybody in the Cardinals and baseball world, print, TV, radio is going to react to this today, this weekend, Monday, whatever it is. Knowing how popular Yadier Molina is, if you're the Cardinals, however this got out, and again, I haven't talked to Martin yet. Maybe he just had a great scoop. I don't know. But the fact that this got out, I think there would already be a disappointment if it doesn't come true. So we'll see what happens here. But this is quite interesting. Yadier Molina potentially to return to the Cardinals as a bench coach. It has been discussed per my good old buddy, Fox 2 Sports Director, Martin Kilcoin. All right, guys, what do you think? Comment, like, subscribe, let me know. I have a feeling you guys are going to be very, very excited about this. But I don't know, man. If I'm Ali Marmol and my seat is is warm. We know he's not going to be fired this winter. But again, year three, he had a good first year, bad second year. If things go south early, the seat for Ali Marmol gets warmer and warmer and warmer. And then right next to him is the lovable but tenacious leader, true cardinal, true son, Yadier Molina, and everybody would be clamoring for him to take Ollie's job. Fascinating stuff. Great scoop, Martin Kilcoin. Let me know what you guys think about Yadi potentially returning as the Cardinals bench coach in 2024. What does that mean for, uh, for Joe McEwing? We'll see what happens with coaching staff changes also, because remember, the Cardinals haven't had that end-of-season press conference yet. Maybe they wanted to kind of iron out any potential changes with the coaching staff before they, before they do that. Who knows? Interesting to speculate. We shall see. All right. I got to shut up. I'm rambling.
Please comment, like, subscribe. Yachty, maybe returning as bench coach. Wouldn't that be awesome? We shall see. See you guys. Thanks.